Hi there and welcome to Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers. Today we're going to be exploring what we can do with Photopy on a Mac. And you can see a different background because we are in a different location. Um, this will be the new way we will be doing videos moving forward. Uh, I hope you enjoy the things that Photopy have to offer. Um, we've done a lot of Photoshop tutorials and a lot of Photopy on iPhone tutorials before, but today we're going to be all about exploring some of the extra features of Photopy. To find Photopea, you need to go to a web browser. I'm in Safari and type in photopea.com and then you will be presented with your Photopea screen. You need to open a document and here is the example we're going to be working on today, which is a double tessellated landscape. It's quite a straightforward image to do and I'll talk you through it step by step to get you started. Okay, first of all, there's a photograph of a landscape that I took recently. And you can see it's got a mirrored effect in the lake, so it's really useful for what we will be doing. Now we're going to be making a mirrored version of this, so we will utilize one of the filters in Photop, which is the distort filter and kaleidoscope. It defaults to six, so you can see it creates these really cool images. We can change this by moving the sliding bar of many more. And what we want to do today is have it on two, which I'll just click OK, which creates this lovely mirrored effect of the mirrored image. OK, with this, it's really exciting as it is, and we could use that, or we could create a double flipped version of it, which is what we're going to be doing. So we're going to click on to our background layer, go to the Layers menu, duplicate the layer, then we are going to make it 50% opaque. And then we're going to go to image, edit, even transform and rotate 90 degrees. And it will create this amazing effect. So we've got like an overlaid image on top of the background. It's nice and straightforward. Yeah, it creates this really pleasing aesthetic. An artist, Rio Awada, did a lot of these and they're very successful. Um, we can take it one step further and crop the image down using the crop tool and we can make it into a square like so. And once we've done that, we press enter and there is our image and it's really successful. Obviously we need to save it, so we go file, Save as Photoshop file and it will create a Photoshop file which will download for us down there. Okay. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's really quick introduction to some of the features of Photopea. There'll be more tutorials to follow. And um, let us know in the comments below if there's anything particular you'd like to learn about. If not, make sure you pop over to the channel, hit the subscribe button, tick the notification bell so that you are aware of all the other videos that we will be doing. And as you can see, I made a video a little while ago where I compare Photop with Photoshop. And you can see for yourself the differences. What I find fascinating is that Photop is completely free. So you don't have to spend any money. You don't even need to download it. It's all based on the web. So absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Photop. And also thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And um, see you soon. Bye.